safe to say that you love this place? Um, well, definitely. I mean, it's all always been part of what I've known, what I've done, so I guess so. You're usually attached to what you know, where you come from. I was born in South Georgia, sub-Antarctic island. But uh, my family's all been sailing here for over 40 years now, I suppose. Home is uh, sort of more around this area for me. <laughs> My mother had a background in biology, and uh, although we were just cruising, she had an interest and started uh, making notes. She made a lot of the first records of bird colonies in all of these areas. So why should people who uh, don't live here or don't know Antarctica care about this place? The Antarctic is quite closely linked to everything else in the planet. The landscape is shriveling, it's drying up. You can see a lot of the ice recede and the snow cover receding. The Antarctic Treaty protects all things on land and uh, prohibits extraction of resources, uh, mainly mineral resources they were thinking about. However, it doesn't cover the sea, so commercial fishing is uh, perfectly allowed uh, all, in all waters around Antarctica. So we have a situation where uh, we're not supposed to do anything to impact the wildlife here on land, but it's okay to go fishing for what they eat, literally just, just off, the, off the beach almost. <laughs> oh, well, I think it's slight oversight of the Antarctic Treaty, if you ask me. Generally, people won't be able to change their habits unless there's a direct effect on their day-to-day -day life. A lot of things that you used to experience, places you went when I was a child, yeah, took it for granted then, and now you realise that's actually not ever going to be possible again. Change is inevitable, but uh, some of it's rather dramatic. <laughs> Thank you.